वेलकम टू बी कॉम सेकेंड सेमिस्टर एन ई पी बैच डी एस सी पेपर टू पॉइंट वन फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग द कोर्स आउटकम ऑफ दिस पेपर इज फाइनलाइजिंग द अकाउंट्स ऑफ इंसॉलवेंट इंडिविजुअल्स एंड कंप्यूट द फाइनल पेमेंट्स सेकेंड एक्सप्लेन द अमाउंट टू बी क्लेम्ड बाय द पॉलिसी होल्डर्स इन इंश्योरेंस रिलेटेड लॉसेस डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग द आर्ट ऑफ फाइनलाइजिंग अकाउंट्स ऑफ डिपार्टमेंटल एंड ब्रांच अकाउंट्स फोर्थ नेसेसिटी एंड सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स articulating the differences between indian accounting standards and irfs the first unit is given here in this case insolvency accounts it includes total 10 hours meaning of insolvency and types of insolvency individual and firm insolvency acts in india and the procedure under insolvency act statements of affairs difference between statement of affairs and balance sheets assets having more than change secured unsecured and preferential creditors preparation of statement of affairs and deficiency account and accounting adjustments and problems there too unit number 2 departmental accounts meaning and objectives maintenance of columnar subsidiary books allocations of expenses interdepartmental transfers and preparation of departmental final accounts unit number 3 is branch accounts here meaning and types of branches systems of accounting for dependent branches debtors and stocks and debtor systems independent branches incorporation of branch transactions in the head office books excluding foreign branches depreciation of branch assets goods and remittances in transit preparation of final accounts and problems there too unit number 4 is insurance claim meaning and types of claims need loss stocks policies preparation of statement of cost of goods sold and calculation of value of stocks on the date of fire treatment of salvage and valuation of stock prior to fire when the gross profit ratio is given and not given average loss and treatment of abnormal loss items in last unit accounting standards in this unit you are learning meaning and need of significance of accounting standards types and process of development of accounting standards in india role of icai in accounting standards accounting standards issued by icai and levels of compliances and auditor certifications and role of idrs involved world over india skill development activities involved in this units to collect insurance claim documents and completing the process by filling them collecting higher purchase statements and draft dummy higher purchase agreements with the imaginary figures obtaining the common expenses in departmental organizations or malls and distributing across the various segments fourth collecting the procedures and documents involved in the establishment of various branches visit of offices of local chartered accountants and learn the accounting standards considered in account finalizations and any other activities which are relevant to the course some textbook references are given here advanced accountancy value number 1 by sultan chan uh, author is gupta rl sp jain and kl narang advanced accountancy value number 1 by kalyani publishers pc tulsian financial accounting by pearson publication new delhi or any latest edition book shall be used in this so today i'll start this insolvency units it involved meaning of insolvency and types of insolvency so before actual problem starts we shall first let us learn the basic short types of question and answers which are involved in insolvency of partners of firms what is meant by dissolution of partnership firms here dissolution means of a partnership firms closing of the business firms and termination of relationship by all the partners with their partnerships dissolution andre partnership of firms anna yavag business anna close madutte adakke now dissolution anta heltar he what is realization account how to close the books so when the dissolution is occurred that time realization account are required so how to close the books to close the books first we should know what is realization account so here realization account is prepared to realizing the assets and pay off the liabilities on dissolution of the partnership firms 
or this account is opened to find out the profit or loss on realization of assets and discharging the liabilities of the firm so here realization account prepare hege madutare matte books evaganna close madutare so to prepare realization account first if the company is on a dissolution that time first the company has to see their assets and whether the company is ready to pay their liabilities on dissolution of the firm so how to close the books to close the books following points to be taken into the consideration first one is realization account is prepared to find out the profit or loss now madle realization account na prepare madbekagutte second profit or loss on realization is transferred to partners capital account so here partners are invested their capital if the profit or loss is realized by preparing the realization account such a profit or loss should be transferred into according to the partners capital account third in case of loss on realization is occurred the solvent partners have to bring the cash in their respective share of loss and reserved and profit and loss should be transferred to the all the partners in their profit and loss ratio here one garner versus morare rule case is they ask in generally in a short type of question answers so one partner is insolvent and at least two partners are solvent so this is the popular uh, rule which is applied in uh, garner versus morare case the one the capital deficiency of insolvent partner shared by the solvent partners in their capital ratio and in case there is a loss on realization the solvent partners have to bring cash equal to their respective share of a such a loss so before learning uh, understanding this case of these two rules let us learn what is who is solvent partner and who is insolvent partner in a partnership a firm solvent partner is a partner whose personal assets are more than his personal liabilities such a partner is known as solvent partner who is insolvent partner if a partner is unable to bring cash from his private estate to make the capital deficiency such a partner is known as insolvent partner if the partner is not able to bring any capital to make the capital deficiency such a partner we known as insolvent partner so in this case in this rule if the one partner is insolvent one partner is insolvent and at least two partner must be a solvent that time this garner versus murare rule is applied and here if the capital deficiency of a such insolvent partner shared by the solvent partner in their capital ratio we will learn this uh, practical problems after this uh, short notes learning third is what is deficiency account and when it is prepared so when any company becomes bankrupt at that time deficiency account is prepared so generally when the company is totally insolvent and the company is not able to pay any amount uh, from their partnership firms the such a company the deficiency account is prepared and it is known as bankrupt an account summarizing the financial condition of individual or company in danger bankruptcy some method of accounting on insolvency are required these are the steps are taken into the consideration first first realization account is prepared to find the profit or loss second the profit or loss on realization is transferred to the partners in their capital ratio third in case of loss on realization solvent partners have to bring the cash in their respective share of loss so this is the rule which is the rule which is applied in case of garner versus murare fourth reserves and profit and loss should be transferred to all the partners in their profit and loss ratio the net capital deficiency of an insolvent partner is to be found out first next capital deficiency to be shared by the solvent partners by bringing in cash and last final settlement is made between the all solvent partners so these are the some common questions most probably they ask in your section e2 mass question so these are the few questions i have traced here this question probably comes in your two two mass questions and the methods uh, and the problems which are required to solve such uh, in insolvency of partnership of firms we will learn in upcoming class thank you for listening